Welcome everybody to Game 10 of the 2013 Guilford Varsity Lacrosse season. Tonight's matchup versus the Ledyard Colonels. Both teams come in with a 7-win, 2-loss record. Guilford's second loss of the season coming in their last outing versus the new Fairfield Rebels. A gut-wrenching, heartbreaking loss in that Guilford scored with 20 seconds left to tie the game and New Fairfield managed to score with seven seconds left in the game on an improbable full field pass to win it. The Indians will be looking to get that win column kick started again tonight and they get the scoring started just 30 seconds in. Number 26 Duke Knapp inbounds it to number 31 James Bright who turns and whips it back up to Zach Cataruza number five down to number 32 John Lissitano over to number 24 Kevin Carrigal and in the back door by number nine, Andrew DePatty. The Indians defense will also come on strong in this game. Here's number five, Zach Catarusa at work. The Ledyard Colonels will manage to get it back though. And on a very lazy lob pass, Tyler Nelson steps in and intercepts. The offense sets up really quick. He pushes it over the middle to number three, Patrick Saunders, who gets it down to Andrew DePatty and then Carrigal on the back door just waiting. It's 2-0 Guilford with barely three minutes gone by. It becomes apparent really quickly that the Ledyard Colonels are going to have a tough night against the Indians. The Indians defense is swarming. Here's number 25, Nathan Tepley putting on the pressure and Mark Lusitano steps in for the interception this time. Mark Lusitano gets it up to his brother John Lusitano, number 32 and John fires a shot but it's off the post and here is a long stick interception by Duke Knapp great pick and number 25 Nathan Tepley gets to it again he pops the ball out right here Tepley is a freshman defenseman and he's getting involved all over the place this time he creates a turnover and it turns into money as it gets it up to Tyler Nelson. Nelson down to Lisitano. Lisitano to Carrigal and over to DePatty. It's a backdoor goal again. And it's 3-0 Guilford. It's the reverse of the last play. And the Colonels find themselves in a not so nice hole. Number 16, Mike Ring steals the next face off and moves it up really quick to John Lisitano, who fires a blast, but it's a little high. The team is working hard. And here Tyler Nelson picks up the turnover. Nice spin move and a lot of stick to itiveness. And he maintains the possession for Guilford. The Indians continue to use that cross crease backdoor play, this time with different players. It's number 16, Mike Ring, to number 29, Robert Larico. Larico is also a freshman, and he makes it four to nothing. Guilford. Guilford's defensive long sticks do a lot of ball movement. They move it up the field all the time. And here's a nice spin move by Mark Lusitano, and he makes the break. Here's Mark Lusitano working on defense. I wouldn't want to be getting hit by that swat. And here, number 26, Duke Knapp gets the turnover. The Ledyard Colonels will not be shut out in the first quarter, though. They get the ball inside to the covered man, and he does a quick spin move and drops it in the net. But it's still 4-1 Guilford with over two minutes to go in the first quarter. Number 16, Mike Ring, doesn't win every faceoff tonight, but here he is working hard, as he always does. That's one thing you can always expect from Mike Ring. Guilford's number six, senior Mike Serra, decides it's time to get a goal for himself. He fires a bomb from way out, and he puts the tally up on the scoreboard, and it's now 5-1 Indians. The Colonels have been having a tough time penetrating all night long. They just can't seem to get it in. And here the defense makes the turnover. And here's Freddie Trotta. He puts it up to John Lisitano over his shoulder, to number 13, Tyler Nelson, down to Andrew DePatty. And DePatty's got himself a hat trick, folks. It's now 6-1 to one Guilford. And there's still 37 seconds left in the first quarter. 
Here's another nice interception by Zach Catarusa. And yet another turnover created by number 26, Duke Knapp. And one of Guilford's leading scorer, number 32, John Lusitano, still hasn't had his first goal of the night while everybody else is having fun. But this time, Andrew DePatty tries to give him a pick. And although it doesn't work, DePatty sees the open net and he takes it down low. Right through the goalie's legs, and it's 7-1 Guilford with 9.15 left in the second. Number nine, Andrew DePatty, now with four goals on the night, gets it in to number 24, Kevin Carrigal, who has no shot. So he drops it back to number 18, Frank Ramphone. And Ramphone, the sophomore midfielder, gets goal number eight on the board for Guilford. The disparity in the scoring tonight belongs just as much to the defense as it does to the offense. Watch the defensive work here. Goal number nine for Guilford. Comes when number nine, Andrew DePatty, gets it out to number three, Patrick Saunders, the senior, and he fires a shot down low, and Saunders is on the scoreboard, and it's nine to one Guilford, with 5.34 left still in the half. James Bright gets in on the action on this shot. He's got himself a save. Guilford's completely dominating Ledyard. Here, Andrew Tapati misses a shot and the ball's bouncing around. Watch the effort on the part of the Indians. They don't give up on the play. And finally, number 28, Will Dacey, comes up with the turnover. When you see this kind of play, there's got to be a level of comfort on the sidelines for Coach White. With less than a minute to go in the half, Number 18, Frank Ramphone inbounds the ball to number 9, Andrew DePatty. He gives it right out to number 32, John Lusitano, who this time aims two inches lower than he previously had. And boy, wasn't that a beauty. We're really getting used to seeing amazing shots like that from John Lusitano. And before the half is over, here's Mike Ring fighting hard for another one. He gets it down to Andrew DePatty, across to Kevin Carrigal. And Carrigal uses the changeup to get a second on the night. It's now 11 to 1, and it's also the halftime score. The Indians do it with defense in the third quarter. Every time Lager gets a shot, there's a wall of Indians there, and James Bright. They try to go around them, and they go around the net too. The defensive intensity creates turnover after turnover. Number 5, Zach Catarusa, comes up with this one. And his cutbacks are always impressive. And his gameplay is always impressive, just like this. He uses his body to keep the ball in bounds. And an inside-out move to maintain the possession. One funny thing about the game of lacrosse is that no matter how many men are in your way or how many men are in front of the net, if you blast the heater, there's a chance every once in a while that one's going to go through, as it does here for the Colonels. And that's the first goal scored in the third quarter and it makes it 11 to 2, Guilford, with 4.05 left in the third. Number 9, Andrew DePatty, now has four goals on the night. And here's Guilford moving the ball around, and DePatty gets it inside to Carrigal to give Carrigal a hat trick. Nice shot, heavily covered. Carrigal gets it off, and that makes it 12 to 2, Guilford, and that's also the fourth quarter starting score. The Indians are putting on a demonstration. And they show some great passing skills here. It's Larico to Carrigal. Carrigal's got another. Now Carrigal's got four and DePatty's got four. Kevin with the great quickness inside. Eric Zergabel comes in for relief and he gets a piece of the action. It's 14 to 2 Guilford. And here's Nathan Tepley again, number 25, getting yet another turnover. They move it up quickly, but it's off the post. The Colonels get another shot off, but James Bright gets the save. Next, the Colonels put together a nice pass play, and they get a well-deserved goal. 
It's now 14 to three Guilford, but the scoring's not done yet. Number six, Mike Sierra approaches the net. He drops the ball, and number 27, Eric Zergabel, quickly picks it up and deposits it in the net to make it 15 to three Guilford. And that'll cap the scoring, but I just had to show you number 27, Eric Zergabel here who loses the ball, but he keeps his head in there. And with a little help from his teammates, he gets the opportunity to return the favor. He pops it out to number 11, John Altieri. Also, you might want to see backup goalie Jack Petrick making this save. To top it all off, here's Zach Cataruso with some great running style. Number 30, Jack Petrick with another save. And that's it, folks. The Indians win 15-3. Next up is Amity, Friday night at Amity. It's an early game at 4 p.m., but you probably don't want to miss it. The Indians are now fifth in the M division with a record of 8-2. Amity, on the other hand, is 5-3, but they've won their last three straight by 15 or more goals. Hope to see you all there. Good night, everybody.